Liverpool find themselves top of the table with after 19 games they top the table in the first leg of the Premier League fixtures. So Liverpool would like to maintain their position knowing very well they are going toe to toe with Arsenal and the dreadful Manchester City. So Jurgen Klopp wants his team to remain solid in and out of possession. So a lot of people do not understand there is a player in Klopp's team who makes everything tick for his team. And we are going to discuss who this player is and we are going to get to know who this player is. So, majority of you think that it is Trent Alexander-Arnold. We know the role that he plays in this team and we've done a video on what he contributes to the Liverpool team. Others will suggest that it is Virgil van Dijk, his sudden return to form and being the best centre-back in world football might also be discussed as he is the best and the most important player for Liverpool, though I believe he is not the one. Others will also maintain that he's, it's Mohamed Salah, he makes a lot of goal contributions for Jurgen Klopp's team. And the majority of the people will say without Salah's goals, Liverpool do not challenge for the title, which is true. But in our video today, we're going to look at a player who a lot of people do not talk about. But Jürgen Klopp has mentioned him in the past and the stats also indicate him with him and without him in the team, Liverpool is different. And this player who we are going to discuss is none other than Curtis Jones. Yeah, Curtis Jones. Now a lot of you did not expect me to address the role that Curtis Jones gives Liverpool. And I'm going to explain to you what he does. He's not such a flashy player or such a player who you will expect to do uh, amazing things on the pitch. But the stats back him. Now, one way you can see Curtis Jones is his, in, uh, his goal contribution. And what you can see is look at his assist map. It's around 92%, meaning that he creates situations where the team can generate assists on the pitch. Another thing that you need to see about him is his passes. And when you look at his passes, you look at his pass completion rate, which is 91.1%. Very high compared to that of Trent Alexander-Arnold. He does not make as many as uh, progressive passes as Trent, but his passes is what is the best at 98%, meaning he's a smooth passer. Again, you can see his tackles. He ha he's in the 81 percentile when it comes to tackles. So this is a player who's very effective for Jurgen Klopp, especially out of possession. We know Klopp with his heavy metal football requires what we call counter-pressing in his midfield regions. Also, when you look at these stats, you're able to see a further example of how Curtis Jones influences the form of Liverpool. Whenever he plays, Liverpool do not lose. They just win and draw in some games showing his effectiveness do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this so what does Curtis Jones do to make him so important for Jurgen Klopp's system this is going to be our topic of discussion today and we're going to see what he does what he offers to Jurgen Klopp and what makes him so special for Liverpool Curtis Jones is not a player who has featured most in Liverpool's games, but when he plays in the game, the Liverpool's win rate increases from 59% to 62%. So, Curtis Jones, uh, as many of you expected that Trent Alexander-Arnold will be the most important player for Liverpool, but it's actually Curtis Jones. So when Trent inverts in this midfield position, we've discussed how effective Trent is in this midfield position, being the one who progresses the ball from deeper position, acting as a deep line play maker. Now, let's now talk about also the centre-back position. And uh, in the centre-back position, we have looked at Virgil van Dijk and his increase in form and how this has improved Liverpool, especially with 1v1 defending and marshalling that back line. 
also looked at a player such as Dominic Sobol's life, who has also been quite important for Liverpool. His ability to receive the balls in the channel and link up with the likes of Mohamed Salah and attempt long shots from outside go outside goal has also made him quite an instrumental player for Liverpool this season. His ability to attack the half space channels and attempt crosses is also a great addition to the Liverpool side. So, Mohamed Salah is also quite important with his ability to pick up spaces in the left hand, uh, right hand channel and attempt to make these long diagonal crosses to attempt to score the goal for Liverpool. But we're going to see what does Curtis Jones give Liverpool. And whatever Curtis Jones gives Liverpool is something that Klopp really, really needs in his team so that everything can work. So Curtis Jones starts as the left-sided midfielder in his uh, in this position. What Curtis Jones does is that he likes to keep the ball clean. Curtis Jones in this position acts as an extra man, especially when Liverpool are being pressed high, because he's the player who picks up the ball in between the lines, especially when both double pivots are being pressed. Also, when Liverpool are uh, inverting Trent in midfield. What you're going to see majority of the time is that teams will be drawn to Trent and Curtis Jones is the player who receives the ball in between the lines and links the defense with the attack. His ability to also know his movement to allow Luis Diaz to move in these kinds of position is also great. Down the left-hand flank, we know Klopp likes to overlap either Robertson or Simicas. Now, when Simicas is advancing in this position, Curtis Jones is the player who likes to drop in this deep midfield position to in this deep fullback position to cover for Kati, to cover for Simicas who's moving forward to try and press and try to attack with the ball and create these overloads together with Luis Diaz. So Curtis Jones in this position is quite effective. He's not a player who stays in one position, but rather is a player who likes to move time and time again. The good thing about Curtis Jones is that he's very safe in possession. He's a player who has that, uh, that time just to hold on to the ball. And once he holds on to the ball, he relieves pressure from his team. He's a player who will just play short passes. That's why his pass completion rate is at 98%. Is that player who's going to receive the ball and just make those slow passes a player like Jorginho who will just receive the ball play those short passes and ensure that he takes away pressure from his team his movement is also quite important since he knows how to read the game and is able to move Curtis Jones does not play in one position and most of the time you'll see him is that he will receive the ball boom forward receive the ball stay back always go and try to make those triangles high up the pitch in the middle third of the pitch picking up those spaces to allow Liverpool to be more confident and more resound in possession now Curtis Jones on this side, he likes to especially drift down the left where they attempt to create overloads down this position. Now, without the ball is where we see the strength that Curtis Jones gives Jürgen Klopp. This strength is the gegenpress. press. Now, Liverpool will generally press in a 4-3-3 system and this is aided by their wingers picking up positions in between the fullback and the centre-back while they have only one loan forward so when a team decides to start with a double pivot in midfield and the center back receives the ball in this case what you will see is Curtis Jones play the Jordan Henderson role by pushing forward from midfield winning possession and immediately putting Liverpool in this aggressive counter-attacking systems and areas that Liverpool like to operate in also Another thing that you're going to realize is that when Liverpool are slightly in a conserved position in possession and a team decides to play in a back three kind of system, try to draw Liverpool wingers out of position, it is Curtis Jones who will be the one to pick up positions to try and go and attempt to press a full back or any wide player who's dropping deep to receive the ball. 
and his high tackle success rate that I've shown you from the stats indicate his ability to be a very great ball winner and enable his team to win the ball and effectively transit from out of a possession phase into in a possession transition phase. In more deeper positions, what you're going to see from Curtis Jones is that when the fullback is dragged out of position and players are making uh, runs down the channel, Curtis Jones will be a player who will be moving to try and cover these half space regions when his fullback is under threat and is a player who's not afraid to fill in the gaps in midfield. So I'm going to, from this tactical analysis, you can see three clear things that Curtis Jones offers Jürgen Klopp's team. And these are the things. Number one, Curtis Jones is an excellent uh, player who moves without possession. So he's a player who knows how to pick up positions without the ball, appearing from the far post areas to score tap-ins or attempt to score goals from down the back post in those kinds of position. He's also like an Ilkay Gundogan who will attempt to hold on to the ball and ensure the team are safe in possession. He's also not afraid to move in left back positions to try to cover for fullbacks who are trying to progress with the ball. He's also his key strength also is his ability especially to effect an effective counter pressing situation. His ability to hold on to the ball for long periods of the time enabling Liverpool to be in a more settled possession. We know that Trent is an aggressive, progressive passer and majority of the time that can leave Liverpool susceptible to counter attacks. But with Curtis Jones, he's just a slim passer who can play those through balls but majority of the time he will hold on into possession and ensure Liverpool are safe with and without the ball. That is what makes him so important for Liverpool. He plays the Gini Wijnaldum role. 